Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you want. Today we're looking at editing your photographs inside of Canva. So let's dive into Canva straight away. There's a few different ways that you can do this. And I'm gonna start off with the Canva homepage. So we're just here on the Canva homepage and you can see it's just, there's nothing special here. On my other screen window, what I do have though, is I have my photos app open. You could, that could be uh, the photos app inside of your MacBook or Mac, whatever it is, or your Windows machine, or it could just be a folder. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop a photograph from there onto the Canva homepage. Now you can see when you drag a photograph onto the homepage, it will tell you the type of documents that you can upload to Canva. I really love this. It just gives us an idea of what we can upload. You can see the uh, HEIC, HEIF, GIF, JPEG, PNG, SVG, EVIF, WebP, TIFF, WDP, and JXR, whatever those last couple are. And all we do is we just drag and drop that on there. And it's gonna drag and drop on here. It's gonna allow us to have our folder of our images here automatically. Now, I do highly recommend when you're dragging images over that you do give them a name. Can you drag more than one image over? Let's give it a go and try it out. I'm just selecting four images here. I'm just dragging, you can see that next to the little plus icon there, it's got the four. I'm just dragging those over. Yes, you can drag up over multiple images inside of Canva. Now, if you're doing this and you want your images to be organized, I do highly recommend that you create a folder first. So we're gonna go over to folders and we're gonna click add a new folder and we're gonna click and we're gonna call this photographs from Pips. Happens to be the name of the restaurant where I was at. Okay, so where's that photographs from Pips? So now we've got that folder over here. I want to now drag those images over. So I'm just trying to find some images that are just myself. So I can drag those three images over and those three images are gonna come over to my projects folder and have them in my photographs from Pips folder. Now, great, you're saying Darren, but what it's come over and it's got this really obscure name. You can just come over, you can just drag and you can rename these images however you want. I'm just gonna call it Darren eating at Pips. Okay, you could describe it however you want to do. The other options you've got are you can come over and you can now choose to edit photo. I really like this option. This is the edit photo no modal or whatever it is you want to call, call it. You don't have to go into a design to do this. You are just opening up your photograph inside of Canva. Now there are a, quite a few different things that you can do here. You can do all the like the normal things, remove the background, you can, you've got the magic eraser, both of those are pro features. You can see the little crown here. So if you're not trying Canva Pro, there's always the 45 day trial of Canva Pro down in the description below. You can see you've got all of like the normal filters. So we can come over, we can see all of the filters and you can change the intensity of that filter. So if I wanted to make myself look like that, I could do, there's all sorts of different filters that you can do on here and you can change the intensity. Let's go back to the main menu and we can see we've got the option to shadows we've got auto focus so if i wanted on there to focus on something else it's going to go away and focus on the area so we can change the position of that focus and you can see as we change it it's going to tell us what's in focus so now it's blurred out some of that other areas and it's taken me on there. Now it will depend on the type of photograph. Your photograph's gonna have to have some kind of depth in there and you can change the blur intensity. So if you wanted to blur things out or not have any blur on there, you can do. But the idea of this depth focus is that you can create that fake kind of like bokeh effects of your images. And we will try that out on a different image in a few moments. So that's kind of like the auto focus and you can just uh, clear that, we can remove the autofocus. If you want to just remove that and you didn't like it, you can just click remove autofocus and then click save. And you click save to Canva or you can just download it if you wanted to. So we can just click save and it's gonna save it as a different edit inside of Canva. So you can see this item here was where we changed it to Darren eating at Pips. That's the original one. 
Now this one would be the different edit on there now that we've edited it. We're going to go back into the original one again. We're going to go to edit photo. I want to show you a few other different menus and options inside of this modal here. So we've got all those different photos. You can change the blur. You can also add the duo tone effect on here. So if I wanted to kind of like show myself as like a black and white image or change any of these colors, then I could do, or you can do that. So you can change all of those. We can click cancel. We can click discard. We're going to come back again. We're going to click edit photo. I want to change and adjust the photo. Okay. This is going to change all of like the temperature, the brightness, contrast. If you've underexposed an image or overexposed an image, it's going to try and adjust that the best that it can. If you have overexposed an image, there's a chance that the data won't be there because this isn't a raw image that I've uploaded. So the chances are that the data is not going to be there in the image. So you're not going to be able to get, if it's a blown out sky, you're not going to be able to get that. It's always best to underexpose your images if you can, and then you can brighten things up afterwards. So this button here will auto adjust. And it will, you can see that it's added a bit of brightness. It's increased the highlights, the shadows, and you know, it's not changed any of the temperature or anything else like that. And you can come down. So say you didn't want this to be so bright. You wanted it to be a little bit darker. Again, you can come in here. Maybe you wanted it even brighter. You can do that. You can come in and change those. You also have like a color edit here. So I can click on that and that will change the color edit options in there if you wanted to. Not a massive fan of that, but that is a way that you can sometimes change the color. You've got sharpness. So say you want your image isn't looking quite as sharp as you want it to. You can increase the intensity of that sharpness, but be aware of over sharpening images and increasing the clarity too much because it's not going to look as good as you might think. You can also add a vignette. If I go to the extreme, you can see to the left, this is going to add the white vignette to your images. If you go to the right, it's going to add a dark vignette to your images that draws the focus to the center of the image inside of Canva there. So these are all options where you can, you're not having to upload them into a design. It's not changing the aspect ratio. You've not got to worry about the actual size of the canvas or anything else like that. You are just at this phase using Canva to edit your image. Next, we come on to crop. So you can see I've taken this in a landscape kind of set. If I wanted to adjust and crop that, you can come in and you can choose a one by one crop. Ideal if you wanted to do this for Instagram or something like that. If you click on this little arrow here, you're going to then have the other options. So you can have a five by four crop. Okay. And if you want to, you can go a little bit further over and you can have the four by five crop. So it's given that more of a portrait look for your Instagram images. Okay. And then you can click done and it's going to crop that image for you. If I now click save, save to Canva, you can see it's going to take a few moments and it's going to create another edit. So on here, if you wanted to, you'd come in and you go down at pips and you go port rate. Okay. So there you go. You could, if you wanted to then move this into a folder and you could create a new photograph from pips, create a new folder in there and you could put IG edits. Okay. Edit. Okay. Add a new folder and you can see now inside of the photographs folder that we've got where we uploaded all of our folders or our, all of our images, we've now got an Instagram edits folder. So we can quickly go onto our phone, go into Canva, and grab that image and upload that to Canva if we wanted to. This is where you're going to be able to put all of those Instagram edits. Okay. Now, there are a few more things inside of this menu that I want to show you. I really like this feature from Canva. It's a really great way of editing your images inside of Canva. We're going to come back to the edit photo option. We've got the crop option here okay so you can do if you want to as well you've got the smart crop option for your photographs so what that's going to do it's going to take ai and smart crop it it's going to straighten it if it needs straightening but let's click the button and show you what happens on the smart crop option okay we can see there 
it's not quite worked in my opinion but it has it's taken this line in the middle here as the straightened image but it's not quite worked there if i want to you can come in and you can choose to rotate that image better for your crop if you wanted to and then move this around still so you can use the smart crop to kind of like get an idea of what it's going to be but then it does depend on the photograph i prefer to crop and edit the images myself okay we're going to click reset on that one and we're going to click cancel one more feature that i want to show you in this menu and then we'll dive into some further photo editing options inside of canva we're going to come back we're going to click edit photo now let's say i wanted to just put some text over the top of this image come to your folder can find your image this is the one we want to use we're going to click using a design that's going to then open up that image with the canvas exactly the size that you need it to be or that you want it to be without changing the aspect ratio or anything else like that of your image you can then come in and just add whatever it is that you want over the top you can come over you can select the photo you can then inside of here edit the photo and you can see you've got those other options so in the modal that we were looking at before we had the background remover and the magic eraser and there was one other option i think it was magic edit those were the three that we had inside of the modal however you've got the other options here from the magic studio so you can magic expand your photo if you wanted to so if i shrunk this down a little bit and use magic expand that's going to add a little bit extra inside of that photo for you i have done a video on that where i talk about being able to fit a photo inside a frame i'll put that down in the comments below for you if that's what you want to check out i'll also put that up in the cards section up here for you but you've also got down here you've got all of the effects which we had beforehand but you've also now got the mock-ups app available to you so if you wanted to put this on a mug or anything else like that you can come over to the mock-ups option and then it quickly and seamlessly adjusts or goes over to the mock-up option let's click back on edit photo okay we've got the adjust option inside here and we've got the crop option inside here and you can see you've also got the magic expand option here that's just another way of getting to the magic expand option so that's how you can edit your photos inside of canva bring them into a design save them as a design or save them as separate images inside of canva the new photo editing options inside of canva go way beyond this there's all the ai options and the magic options that you can add and change in here i'm going to come on to those in a future video if you've got any questions about editing your photographs inside of canva let me know down in the comments below if you've got any other canva questions let me know down in the comments below and i will come back to you with a short video helping you with your canva questions my name is darren i'm a canva verified expert and until next time thank you very much and bye for now